Hello, I'm Matthew Pearson. Christine Niles is off today. Today is Friday, February 27th, 2015. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The UK has become the first nation in the world to allow three parent babies. Following a vote from the House of Lords Tuesday, the UK has approved an in vitro fertilization technique that will take the DNA from the mother and father, plus a donor. Critics say this crosses a moral boundary and treats children as little more than biological experiments. The Catholic Church condemns IVF because it separates the unitive from the procreative function of the conjugal act. A Catholic school in Massachusetts is pulling out of Boston's St. Patrick's Day Parade because a gay activist group will be marching in it for the first time in the parade's history. The school's principal cites church teaching for his decision, noting that Catholics are prohibited from participating in events which sponsor, quote, unnatural and immoral behavior. He states, St. Patrick stands with St. Paul in condemning the sin of sodomy. The name of St. Patrick should be dropped from the parade as he would have nothing to do with the likes of it today. The director of the marching band says students and parents are fully behind the decision. The head of the German bishops is hinting at a split from church teaching. In an interview published Wednesday, Cardinal Reinhard Marx made comments signaling a willingness to depart from dogma in Germany's pastoral practice. In his words, we are not branches of Rome. Each Episcopal conference is responsible for pastoral practice in its own culture. We cannot wait for a synod to tell us what to do. Marx is known for his support of the Casper proposal, which would open up communion to the civilly divorced and remarried. A judge in Australia has ruled that so-called polyamory being romantically involved with multiple lovers at the same time is merely a behavior, not a protected sexual orientation. After a Catholic organization fired a woman for her advocacy of a pro-polyamory group, the woman sued, contending she was unlawfully discriminated against for being polyamorous. The judge has responded, If the contention were correct, then the illegal activities of pedophilia and necrophilia may have the protection of the Sex Discrimination Act of 1984. Such a result would be an absurdity. More than 220 Syrian Christians have been kidnapped by ISIS over the past four days. The Islamic militants have raided homes in northern Syria, abducting Christians whose fate remains unknown. A video Thursday also shows the militants smashing ancient statues in a museum in Mosul. Since the area fell to ISIS last year, the militants have set up a caliphate, killing religious minorities, enslaving women, and destroying churches. Please pray for the Christians in the Middle East. I'm Matthew Pearson. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael talks about Hillary Clinton and conservative Catholics. Remember to share our headlines with your friends and family. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and may God bless you.